it's a passion, you know, working with children and just to see them uh, smile, enjoying themselves. My dream is to see few players from Rising Star going into the Premier League and playing the highest level. That's my dream. I've been involved in football for over 25 years. Uh, I played in the highest level, the Warsaw Football Club. Since I've retired from football due to injuries, um, football always been in my blood and it is now. What I never had in my days, 20 years ago, nothing was set up like this. There wasn't anything there out there for our youngsters. So I thought to myself, uh, our youngsters need something, some kind of uh, setup. So we set up Rising Star Football Academy, help of all, um, family, friends, the community, and we've been going over a year now. And as you can see, the numbers have increased. Um, from one day training, we've gone to two day training now, twice a week. We have over 150 kids in our academy. It's, it's, a, it's an awesome initiative. It's uh, an idea that um, has been put into place, and it's something that is needed in this community. Um, a facility uh, for young people to learn how to play football, but as you say, uh, to learn the social and personal social development side of it as well. So it's, it's, a, it's a really, really positive initiative. To the area that they live in, because it's difficult living in an area like this where it's all gang related or you know, poverty line. You know, but something like this just takes their mind away for a few hours. We're from a multicultural area, so football seems to bring everybody together, whether it be Bangladeshi, English, West Indian, and it's, it's sports just brings us all together. So to see it happening here and to see the Bangladeshi community doing something about the sport, it's excellent. It's excellent. When Rising Stars initially approached us, it wasn't just about us being a sponsor. Um, it was about getting a, a general piece of advice about how to best go forward. I, I was quite taken aback by the, the, the enthusiasm Rising Stars were showing to do things in a, in a more professional way, in a different way, taking into account what the reality of the situation was. Our overall plan for Rising Stars, we want to be a sporting institution, so not only football, not only basketball, but tap into other sports as well and get more children involved. We want to be open to everyone, so a child with a talent is never missed out. When we started Rising Stars in 2013, we only had two coaches. Now we've got 18 coaches from level 1 to level 3, plus we have UEFA uh, license A and B coaches here working with us. Good first touch! Is there good first touch? Is there? Is good. Look up for the keeper position, and then next, you left foot, isn't it? But you have to be able to walk up both feet, okay? Good look and shot. Look up and touch. We've just taken our, our Spanish coach to deliver better standard training to our kids in our academy. We're trying our best to get a Brazilian coach in our academy to get the standard of the coaching high. Well, I'm here from Aston Villa um, Community Project, the Kicks Project. Uh, I've come along here to help Rising Stars with a bit of coaching with the young people and their application is absolutely top, top class. With the coaching, um, the, yes they're learning how to play football but more importantly there's the personal and social development side of it. They're learning to socialise with other young people from different communities. We've got a good diverse um, community members so they're socialising with each other so they're learning about each other's cultures as well. Uh, there's also, the, like I said, the discipline side of it as well. To be a professional footballer you have to be disciplined. Now, if the young people can get that discipline within their daily lives, then surely they, they can only improve as, as young people and as young adults. So passion in, in football can also help guide the young person into a better way of living. What we're working on to have a football club, not only, not only for the youngsters, for the adults as well. For example now, we've taken kids from four years to 16. So what do you do with the kids when they reach 17? They're going to be hanging around the street, nothing to do. So we have under 18 team, under 21 team, that we will be playing the FA recognised league. My target is to have 
professional small club. So yeah, I know it's a big dream, but you gotta have target ambition. If you don't have ambition, you're not gonna achieve much. Well, I'm here today from Rising Stars with all my colleagues at West Brom Albion. It's a uh, event hosted by the FA named Asian in Football Forum. So it's very interesting, um, especially for our organisation, because we have over 90% of our young people within Rising Stars are Asian. So I just want to see how the FA, what they have to say, what sort of interventions they've got in place for our young people. Uh, not only for Rising Stars, but throughout the whole UK, for other organisations as well. The FA have got a commitment for football for all. Football for and we want to see everybody involved in a game, no matter what your ability level is. We know that the Asian community is one of the largest, the largest community, we make up 5%, 3 million people, and yet, you know, from generations and different faiths, we don't see your community represented across the football structures. There's no question that football wants to see more participation from the Asian community and I use the Asian in the broader sense. Yes, yes. Um, If you're talking about the Bangladesh community, all new communities, they want to see more participation, more boys and girls, uh, from an earliest age as possible, to be playing. I've been at Walsall Football Club for six years. Uh, there wasn't any Asian then, there isn't any Asian now. And there is Asian talent out there, but they just got to be in the right route. There's nothing impossible in life, can be achieved. With the support with the, uh, from the parents, our kids can get there. It's a matter of time. The most important thing that I see is that the support from family and parents, parents actually bringing the children to football. So it shows that the parents actually want the children to learn how to play football. We have so many uh, passionate parents you know, who love the organisation. It's all the support from them, all the support from the community and most importantly it's support as an organisation within our staff. We have a, you know, excellent uh, 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 team members within Rising Stars. You know, we've got our own little Rising Stars family. You know, we've got people from all different walks of life, different, different experience, bringing everything together. Passion is there. You know, we train twice a week, I will play in the league as well, but people just think, oh, they only train twice a week. But we were, me and my brother, we work around the clock. You know, we'll be sitting there planning um, our training sessions, we'll be planning how to recruit their coaches and things like that. We work around the clock. My role within Rising Stars, I'm the welfare officer for the organisation. Uh, we work with over 150 uh, children at the moment. Uh, my main role is to keep these children safe whilst mm -hmm. they're within Rising Stars. When I'm recruiting, I need to make sure that who I'm recruiting are the right individuals for the right job. I've been to a few different clubs and in the end I chose this one simply because of the professionalism. They've got professional coaches and they really do train the children properly. So for me it's it's a whole round package of everything and they've just gotten stronger and stronger over the last year. We've got three teams, three youth team, under 12, under 10 and under 15 that playing in FA recognised league. My main aim is to push them kids from our community, from our academy to the next level by playing in the competitive leagues which they are doing now. So hopefully by next year I should have um, every single age group playing in the league plus adult team playing in the FA recognised league as well. Yeah, Rising Stars have set up a basketball academy in the heart of Birmingham to children young as six who are currently training with us. We have professional coaches who have been in the game for many years, many years of experience behind them as well. Anybody who doesn't know about Rising Stars, they can find out about Rising Stars, go on to the Rising Stars website, find out what Rising Stars does. It's a massive, massive initiative, massive, massive opportunity to get local people involved. An organization like Rising Stars show promise and we believe we should nurture and encourage them to actually take the step, take the initiative uh, in a professional manner with capacity so that we can, they can allow uh, or to make their first breakthrough into professional sector. We would like to expand Rising Stars on a bigger level. Uh, for example, we, we're doing the football, we've got basketball, we currently have cricket as well. And so over the next uh, year or two, we want it to expand more. We want to tap into a few more different areas of sports. we got academy, same as the ones we got here in Gambia. We've got one in Bangladesh. We're expanding. Very soon we'll be coming to other cities in the UK as well. 
My dream is to see few players from Rising Star going into the Premier League and playing the highest level. That's my dream. Well, what we're hoping is that from Rising Stars, there will be a star in the future.